Good morning, sixth grade. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Shadia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to the 12 students that showed up today. Good morning to Amanda. Good morning to Blessing. Good morning to Carlton. Good morning to Daniel Castillo. Good morning to Evelyn. Good morning to Jaden Smith. Good morning to Jenea. Good morning to Jaden F. Good morning to Taris. Good morning to Yadiel. And good morning to your Lenny. I hope you guys had a great weekend because it was kind of nice out. Oh, good morning, Isaiah. Let me just write you down. Okay, if I don't have your work, guys, from the last four weeks, so we're talking of the week of July 6th, the week of July 13th, the week of July 20th, and the week of July 27th. A lot of people did not really give me work last week. It is important that I receive all that work today, which is Monday, August 3rd, by 6 p.m. If I do not have it by 6 p.m. today, you will not receive credit, and you might not pass for the summer because the summer class ends on this Thursday. So if you can come, that's great, but if you don't submit any paper packets to me, that's a problem. So make sure you get it in if you're missing it. I already spoke to you. I sent emails out too if you're missing your work. Nobody replies back except, hate to say this, but Evelyn was the only one she asked me what she was missing and I told her what she was missing. And whatever your Lenny you gave me, I told you what you had and what you need to submit, okay? So thank you, you two for reaching out. All right, let's get, let's get started to today's work. I posted it yesterday in Google Classroom. So when you go into Google Classroom, you're gonna go under yesterday. I posted it around 10 o'clock in the morning, so I wouldn't forget for today. So if you watch me, I'll be posting the exit ticket. So if you look at me, yesterday was August 2nd. You see August 2nd, I posted the work. And I made another reminder, which nobody still reached out except those two students. All right, um, Evelyn, can you read the learning target, please? Okay. Um, it says, I can solve one-step equations with addition and subtraction and word problems that relate to the real world situations. Good. Can you read me the lesson notes? Today, we'll, today we will learn how to write and solve, solve equations that include multiplication and division that relate to the real world problems. Okay, so I made a mistake there. It shouldn't say multiplication and division. It should actually say addition and subtraction. My mistake, so you're gonna cross that off. And it should say addition and, it should say addition and subtraction. I'm gonna just actually put it in black so it stands out for you to see. Sorry about that. All right, Evelyn, keep going. Important vocab words, number one. Equation is a mathematical statement stating that two expressions are equivalent, equal. Example. Mm -hmm, keep going. Eval evaluate means to solve or figure out the situations to equate equate to the equations problem. Inverse operations, opposite operations that undo another. For example, subtraction is the opposite of addition. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Multiplication property of equi equality. Okay. Whatever is multiplied to one side of the equal sign must be multiplied to the other side. When an equation contains has contains has multiplication solved by division, the same number from both sides. Division properly of equality. Whatever is divided to one side of the equal sign must be divided to the other side. When the equation contains has division solved by multiplying the same number to both sides. All right, so we got a visitor, guys. Say good morning to Selena. She woke up. All right, so today we're going to be dealing with the additive. We're going to be dealing with the, um, the addition property of equality and the subtraction property of equality, okay? Remember the wall method that we worked on throughout the year. We're going to be revisiting that method today. So let's look at how we're going to do the first problem. All right, question one. Amanda, please read me number one on page two, dear. Okay. Uh -huh. Solve for R by using the wall method. 
All right, so remember, when we make the wall method, it's just a way to organize your work. So you're gonna take your pencil, you're gonna do exactly what I do. It's like a T-chart. So you're gonna go down the equal sign, you're gonna make a line, and then you're gonna make another vertical and horizontal line to make a T. So now, Amanda, let's answer the guiding questions and then we'll answer the question. So can you read the guiding question number one? All right, number one, what is the inverse of addition, circle one, subtraction or division? Go ahead, tell us. It is the, I mean, subtraction. Good. So we're gonna subtract. Number two. What number will you subtract by on both sides? 23. Good job. Okay, so let's do that now. So now what we're gonna do is we already know, as Amanda said, that the opposite or inverse of addition is subtraction. When we are dealing with uh, equations, we have to do inverse operations. So we are going to subtract 23 on the left, and we're gonna subtract 23 on the right, because what you do to one side, you have to do to the other, otherwise the scale is not balanced. Now, 23 from 23, I'm gonna put a slash because it equals to zero. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring down the letter R because I need to figure out what R is. R equals, okay, what we're doing here, we're technically taking 189 from 23. And when we do do that, we get what, Amanda? We get one, 166. Okay, now we have to check to verify if that's true. In order to check if that is a verify, if that is true, what we're going to do is we're going to do a three line check. Now, when we do a check, we have three lines. We're going to take, okay, we're on page two, guys, if you just entered. Check. Three lines, we're gonna write three lines. Remember, you're sending this in the computer, you're not sending this in paper anymore. And if you didn't submit me work, you gotta do it. Line one, we're gonna rewrite the equation. R, everyone write this down, plus 23 equal 189. So the first line is always going to have the equation. The second line, Amanda, what number goes in place of R now? What number was R? 166. So wherever I see R, I'm going to put my answer. So I'm going to write 166, because that was R, plus 23 equals 189. So the first line is the equation. The second line, I substitute the number that I got. And then I'm going to do number equal number check. I am going to show that 163 plus 23 is 189. So then I'm going to write in the box, 189 equal 189. And then I'm gonna place the check mark because that's true because the left side is equal to the right. That is how I know my equation is correct. So again, the first line is the equation. The second line, I'm going to take the answer that I got for the variable or the letter, and I'm gonna substitute or replace it in for R, and then I show number equal number check. That's a three line check. This is how you would receive full credit on any assessment I give or the state, just like this. And clearly we know that on the bottom, we know that if we subtract, we should arrive at 166 here. So I'm just gonna click the type box and we're gonna write 166 at the bottom, okay? Page three is just like that. This one, instead of it having addition, it has subtraction. So just to recap, you always are gonna make your vertical and horizontal line like a T-chart. Why? Because you want your work to be organized. We're doing inverse operations, which are opposites. So today, the opposite of addition is subtraction, and the opposite of subtraction is addition. That's what we're working with today. Okay. I'm gonna move on now to the third page. 
I would like to try that page. Let's see. All right, Jaden, can you read us page three, please? What's in front of my screen? Unmute yourself, bud. Jaden. Okay, yes, Jaden F. Jaden F, turn your camera on. Jaden F, turn your camera on. Oh. All right, Jaden, read this problem. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Jaden F, let's go. Solve for M by using the wall method M, M right. equals 36 equals 5. Jaden F, what is the inverse or opposite of subtraction, Jaden? Addition. But what number will I add to both sides? I want to get the variable M by itself. What number is next to the variable? 36. Good. So write this down. So make the horizontal and vertical line. That doesn't look so good. Let me erase this part and try that again. So we are adding, I'm going to erase, I don't really like what I did here. I'm going to redo that. We're going to add 36 to both sides, folks. Why? Because we want to figure out what M is. So we're going to do the inverse operation. So I'm going to add 36 to both sides. Now, Jaden, what's 50 plus 36? Jaden, we're going to bring down the M. So M equals what's 50 plus 36? Somebody help him. No one knows 50 plus 36. 86. Good. Now we're going to do a three-line check. Remember, we have to check our work. We're going to call this check, and it has three lines. The first line is going to be the equation. So you're going to rewrite the equation with the equal sign, which is m minus 36 equal 50. Again, I didn't get that from anywhere. I got it right from the question. That's the question I asked. Jaden, what number goes in place of m? What is the answer to M? What number is M? 86. Good. So I'm going to substitute 86 for M. M, 86. Minus 36 should be 50. The third line, I show number equal number check. So I show that 86 minus 36 is 50, which is true. So then I say number equal number check mark. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> and then clearly the answering questions are very easy at the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna type the answer and you guys can write. At the bottom, number four, it says, what is the inverse of subtraction? What's the inverse of subtraction? Addition, what number will you add to both sides? You add 36 for number five. This is the questions at the bottom. And number six, the answer is 86. There you have that, we're almost done. We're gonna do some word problems now, which are real life examples. And then we have our exit ticket. I'm gonna have you do the exit ticket on the computer. So. Do me a favor, everyone can go cross off page eight and nine. Everyone put a slash on eight and nine. We're gonna do it on the computer. So let me say that again. If you're done, cross off page eight and nine because I don't want you to do double work. Okay? All right. 
Again, four, five, and six go at the bottom of the page. I'm going to erase the top part. You always got to do the wall method when you solve an equation because it keeps your work in check and you can see what you're doing. And you will always get the questions correct. Even when you do double step equations and when you do inequalities, which is just like an equation, it just has a symbol in there. Less than or greater than symbol. Or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. All right, let's look at this problem. Daniel Castillo, please read this problem, which is on page four for me. Question three, sir. Number one, can you read the problem? Read it and it's a problem. Okay, can you read to me what's on the right? Melanie spent $423.45. So, that's too close. She counted her money and discovered that she had 36 and 55 $36.55 cents left. How much money does she get? Does she originally have? Mm -hmm. All right. So on number two, it says colored pencils. Cross it off what I did in red. It shouldn't be that. So what variable should we use to represent the money she had, Daniel? What letter do you want to use to show money? What letter? M or B. M. Okay, M. M. Now, Daniel, let's think about this. Use a variable, which we did, to create an equation. Ask yourself if you add or subtract. So you had a total of $123.45, right, in this box. So we have M. I'm going to change the uh -huh. color. M. I don't like that color. Let's do blue. Okay, M. You had left. That means after you purchased the clothes, you only had $35.55 left. So what are you going to do? Add or subtract? Subtract. Good. And what was the total amount of money? How much did she spend on clothes for school? Mm -hmm. What? Right. How much did she spend on clothes for school? $123.45. Now we're going to solve this problem to figure out how much money she started with. So the money she started with minus the money she had left is equal to $123.45 because that's what she spent. So we're going to do the wall method just like we've been doing. We're going to make, oops, hold on a minute. We're going to make the wall method now. We're going to make the horizontal and vertical lines. What is the inverse of subtraction, Daniel Castillo? Addition. Good, Daniel. So what number will I add to both sides, Daniel? 36, 33. 36.55, excellent. I'm gonna put the plus sign. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now we're gonna figure out the sum. How much money? Did she have? So we know that when we subtract the same number from itself, it equals zero. That's why we put a line. We're going to bring down the M. And Daniel, when you get a moment, tell me what $123.45 plus $36.55 is equal to. How much money is that? Really? Okay. Good, 160. Now we're going to check it. We're going to check that this equation that we just did, okay, we're going to check now a three line check. M minus. There should be a dollar sign there, but same thing. 125, 123.45. That's line one. Line two, I'm going to substitute 
line one. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see that. okay, so let me see if I could bring this over here. Number one, there we go. Line two, we're gonna substitute 160. So we're gonna put $160 or 160.00 is the same minus 36.55 should equal 123.45. And the third line, we're going to show that the number equal number check. So we're going to show that the 160 minus the 36.55 is equal to 123, when indeed, folks, it is. Trust me, I worked them all out. So number 123.45 is equal to $123.45. And you can put a nice check mark. Number equal number check mark. You're going to need to know this when you go to seventh grade. Okay, so we have page five, six, seven. Five, six, and seven are more word problems like this, just to get you in the habit. Clearly, this won't be here when you go to seventh grade, but this is just to get you your thinking so you can see the five steps to get to the answer. I'm erasing it in three. I'm going to start erasing some of it. Okay, we don't need the underlining at this point and that. And we all have that. I'm erasing it in five. We're gonna do the exit ticket all together on the computer. We're not gonna write it on the paper. So again, if you didn't hear me the first time, if you came a few minutes late, I said cross off page eight and nine. Okay. Let's go now do the next problem. Leilani, can you read for me page five, problem four? Miss, can I read it? Okay, you can read the next one. Oh, man. Lorenzo, you'll do page six, all right? Okay. All right, Leilani, you want to read us page five, number four, when you get a chance? Um, solve the equation more. Make the wall do the inverse of operation of adding, addition, or subtraction. Line up all numbers, subtract and add or add. Okay, can you read me the word problem? It says a wildlife reserve, that one. Page five. A wildlife reserve had it. Eight elephants have born during the summer and now has 31 to total elephants. How many elephants were in the reserve before summer began? All right. Leilani, what variable do you want to use for number two? It says, let blank represent the number of elephants in the reserve before the summer began. What variable would you like to use today? What letter? N. N? Mm -hmm. Okay. I use E, but N's fine. All right, Leilani. They had a total of 31, but they only had eight. So are we going to do E minus eight or E plus eight? Think about it. N plus eight. Mm. They had eight. Oh, um, eight, I mean, 31 and nine. Okay, now we're gonna solve the equation that Leilani just said to do. So I am going to text box that again. N minus eight equal 31. Leilani, what method do we use when we solve a single step equation? What do we have to draw? The wall, right? Oh, yeah. Remember that? Write down the equal sign. Look, horizontal and vertical. Vertical, top to bottom, horizontal, left to right. Now, Leilani, what is the inverse of subtraction? Meaning, what is the opposite of subtraction? Addition. Great. So we're going to add what number to both sides, kiddo? 
plus a equals 31. I mean, Good. eight. Good, we're gonna add eight to both sides because what you do to one, you do to the other. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lopsided scale, yes? Mm -hmm. All right, we're almost done. We know n8 minus eight is zero, so that's why we're gonna cross it out and we're gonna be left with n equals, tell me the right side of my equation. So what is 31 plus eight? Thirty-nine. Excellent. Now we're going to check it. Remember, there are three lines on a check, yes? First line, we rewrite the equation. Very simple. N minus H is equal to 31. First line is always the equation. The second line, Leilani, what number goes in place of N? What did you just solve N to be? Thirty-nine. So thirty-nine minus eight should equal... 31. Last line. Number equal number check. So I'm going to show that 39 minus 8 is equal to 31. Is that true, Leilani? Yes. So I say number equal number, and then I add a bam, nice big fat check mark. This, that's the Miss Canella method. Number equal number check mark. Okay, I invented that in Long Island when I first started teaching. Almost there, folks. You're doing awesome. Okay, I'm gonna start erasing some. On number two, I crossed out color pencils. It was a typo, it shouldn't be there. So it said, which is the color pencils? That's why I put a black line. Okay, we're going to move on now to page six. We're almost there. Lorenzo, when you get a moment, you're going to read this page. Wait, 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 miss, come on. Can you go up real quick? I missed something. I took it off. What did you miss? What did you miss, uh, Carlton? Lorenzo Cruz, whenever you're ready, you're going to read me. Page six, problem five, please. It was like a question, it was like problem, um, the number four where it says. All right, um, Carlton, so. you'll text me what you need. All right, Lorenzo, whenever you're ready, sir. Blessing spent 80, 88 point, um, $88.79 at the computer store. She then had $44.55 left to buy a cool hat. How much money did she originally have? Lorenzo, what variable should we use to represent the money she had? What do you want to use? Pick a variable, a letter. L. L? Yeah. You're you killing me, kiddo. L. Okay, L for Lorenzo. Lorenzo, what are we doing with the $88.79? Are we adding or subtracting? Subtracting. Beautiful, Lorenzo. I am beautiful. Thank you. L minus $88.79 is equal to $44.50. Beautiful job, Lorenzo Cruz. Why, thank you for noticing my beauty. All right, Mr. Cruz, let's go take over now. Lorenzo, what method do we use when we're solving a sign equation? The, what's this method called? The plus, uh, the plus method. Okay, the T chart, or we call it the wall method. Whatever you said, I understood that. Uh, okay. Lorenzo, what is the inverse of subtraction, Lorenzo? Mr. Cruz? What? What is the inverse of subtraction? Addition. Oh, your twin beat you. You better catch it up. You better step it up. I have to add to the whole. So I'm going to add 88, 79. 88, 
79 folks. So both sides. Lorenzo, I need help. What? I need $44.50 plus $88.79. How much is that? Let me do the math in my head real quick. I forgot. I need help. I don't know how to add. Help me out. I'm just playing. Uh, I need help. Who wants to help him? Leilani. L equals how much money, Leilani? One hundred and thirty-three point twenty-nine cents. Excellent. Okay, you don't have to check this one, but you would do a three-line check. We got one more, then I'm going to release the exit ticket. Remember, on Thursdays at 3 o'clock, I turn off all the exit tickets. But this week, I'm turning it off today at 3. So if you don't answer it, not for you guys, but this is a recording for the other students that are supposed to be here that aren't. If you don't answer this exit ticket by 3 p.m., I'm turning it off. I will no longer accept responses. Again, this isn't for the people that are on here because you always answer them. Okay, let's move on to the last question, then I'll release the exit ticket. Last but not least, who's doing it? Who's hitting the home run? Who's bringing us home today? Who's bringing us home today? Can I? Is that Amanda? Yes. Sure, Amanda, bring us home. Okay, do you want me to read the directions or? No, you could just read the steps. That's cool. All right. Steps. One, read and annotate the problem. Okay. Two, to identify. No, 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 no. Hold on. Read step one and read the problem. Let's go in order. Read the left and to the right. Okay? Oh, okay. Read and annotate the problem. Becca hit four more home runs than Beverly. Becca hit 21 home runs. How many home runs did Beverly hit? Okay, number two. Oh, okay. Identify name and a variable, a letter, to represent the unknown for quantity. Let, ooh, uh, let. What variable? Oh, oh. Uh, Just don't use that. Easy. Let, let what? B. Okay. Let B represent the number of home runs that Beverly hit. Use the variable and the information to create an equation and label. Write the equation, I mean, ask yourself if you add or subtract. Write equation in the rectangle. Are we adding or subtracting? We she hit seven more then. So in order to figure that so out, that's minus. Excellent. Okay. Now, what do we do now with this lovely equation, Miss Amanda? Solve the equation. Make the wall. Do the inverse operation of addition or subtraction. Line up all numbers. Subtract or add. Okay. So the what are we going to do now? What do we have to create? A uh, table. Yep, or a wall. Good job. What is the inverse of subtraction, Amanda? Adding. What are we adding to both sides? We're adding seven to both sides. You sure about that? Yes. Good. All right, Amanda, what's 21 plus seven now? That's 28. You sure about that? Yes. Okay, so I'm just playing. So mm -hmm. we have B equal B 28. 28. Now we're gonna check it. Remember how many lines are on a check? 
two or three. No. Oh. What's the magic number? Comes after two. Three. Three. So we're going to write the equation B minus 7 equal 21. We're going to substitute 28 minus 7 equal 21. And then we show 21 equal 21. And then we put a big old check mark there. Let's see if I move this up a hair, see what happens. Okay, the bottom says 21 equal 21 check mark. So here's what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna do the exit ticket together, like always. I'm gonna release it in a moment. Hold on a minute. Hold on, everyone write that down. All right, I'm gonna hit stop share now. All right, so now we concluded that.